There were about 60,000 spectators at the Hawthorns, where Brest Bromwich Albion were at home to Chelsea in the fifth round of the Cup. Chelsea kicked off and was soon pressing Albion pretty hard, Albion in striped shirts. There were some exciting moments when it looked as if the visitors from the south were going to take an early lead, but in fact there was no score in the first half. The second period was an Albion triumph. Walsh gets his first goal. A few minutes later, he got another into the net, but the ref ruled he'd obstructed Pickering, Chelsea's goalie. Then Walsh scores again to make it 2 0. Not content with this, Albion's brilliant centre forward gets his third. So it's exit Chelsea. An attendance of nearly 50,000 at Portsmouth certainly got their money's worth of football thrills in the clash with Newport County. The visitors kicked off, the home team, by the way, in white shorts. Crowd and players had scarcely settled down when within a few minutes of the start, Phillips scored for Pompey. Their opponent's early success clearly stung Newport, who came back strongly and within a quarter of an hour equalised through Harper. Then, after another 15 minutes battle, Newport took the lead when Carr netted. So Pompey crossed over one down and a real struggle ensued. Eventually, Phillips got another to make it two all, and that was the inconclusive result after 90 minutes. Pompey kicked off at the start of extra time. Three minutes later, there was another big thrill. Barlow took a penalty for Pompey, but Grant made a brilliant save. Finally, however, with only three minutes to go, Portsmouth did score a winning goal. Hard luck, Newport. The biggest crowd of the day, over 80,000, was present at Manchester to see the cup holders meet Yeovil, the Somerset Giant Killers. As you'll see, it required some skill to get a place in such a throng. Yeovil supporters were optimistic. It's reported, by the way, that about a third of the population had gone to Manchester for the match. The enthusiasm at any rate was well up to Wembley standards. Manchester United kicked off, Yeovil in dark shirts with light sleeves. I'm afraid the Somerset team had rarely met its match this time, and the cup holders had plenty of shooting practice. They scored four times in the first half. Rowley got the first. Soon afterwards, he got another. And now his hat trick. Burke gets his first. It's true, Yeovil were handicapped by the fact that Manchester's ground is level. Anyway, they went down by another four goals in the second half. Burke gets his second, 5 naught. Rowley's fourth, 6 naught. Mitten joins in the fun, 7 0. And Rowley once again. Ah, no, Yeovil, you don't go to Wembley via Manchester. <laughs> 